I'm really good at calling this. I think so strong. Welcome back to Jared Pro Shop Vids. Today we got Barks reviewing the brand new Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid. Being a Black Widow ball, we know that's gonna have the gas mask core. And wrapped around it, we got the HK22 cover stock with the Aggression Hybrid additive. So the HK22 cover, we've seen it with a bunch of different balls across all the seven, I guess, brands of Brunswick. But now we finally get to see it on a Black Widow. We have some really good comparables today, starting with the Black Widow Ghost here, which has the Aggression Pro cover stock. And we also have the 3D Offset Attack here, which has the same HK22 cover stock. In terms of what we expect, we think the Ghost here is going to be longer, but not as sharp. And this one we expect to be a little bit more overall motion, given that it's a higher end performance ball. We're bowling on 44 feet Big Ben today. These are some pretty strong balls, so we're going to need some oil even if it is Barks throwing it. If you like my hoodie, you can get one for yourself at shop.jrproshop.com. We just launched a bunch of new designs. We got hoodies and t-shirts available. Prices are in Canadian dollars for all you Americans out there. So really, really good deal for you. And we do ship worldwide. Members, as always, thank you so much for watching. You're enjoying this video 24 hours early. If you would like to join that exclusive list, plus get a bunch of coaching and tips to help better your bowling game, make sure you hit that join button below. All right, enough from me, another Black Widow. Let's see how it rolls. All right, Barks back once again with the Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid. Now, I don't want to start with this one just yet. Let's start with the previous ball in this lineup, which is the Black Widow Ghost. For those of you that missed the review on the Ghost, uh, it actually wasn't me, it was our buddy Mitch Hoopé from Winnipeg. If you didn't see that, check it out right over here. Now, this ball for me is really clean and not super sharp. Now, we are bowling on a bit of a burnt up condition here. It's 44 foot Big Ben. So this should be pretty long and not super sharp. Let me throw one more. I want to get that a little bit further to the left and hit some dry boards and see the shape of it more. A little bit more. Yeah, that ball hits the friction but doesn't go too sideways. I think once we go to this 2.0 hybrid, we're going to see a lot different ball motion. 2.0 hybrid. This features the new HK22 base cover stock with the aggression additive package. So same type of additives that were in the Ghost, but a different base resin should give it more shape down lane. In theory, same spot, let's get it out. Looks a little bit more responsive to my eye anyway. I think we can move in and slow it down, really yam on it. Now to me, like color wise and the engraving, it really reminds me of the Black Widow Pearl that came out in the mid 2000s. I think that's what they're going for. I'm gonna move like three right and slow it down a bit. That's pretty good. That ball's surprisingly quick down lane for a hybrid. Let's move a couple more right and slow it down some more. I just wanna see more shape. I like seeing the ball back in. So we've seen what this new Widow 2.0 Hybrid can do. Let's go to a 3D offset attack. So same base cover stock, that HK22, this time in a pearl version and slightly different additives and a bigger core. So if I throw that same shot, I think this might go high. It might also go more sideways. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's no way I would have left a six pin with the Black Widow. I'm gonna have to move my feet probably a couple more right. Yeah, this offset attack is a beast. Yeah, a couple more boards to the right here. Yeah, even on that shot, I almost left an eight pin. I think so strong. All right, question time with Barks. Now we've seen a lot of different versions of the Black Widow come out in the last 15 plus years. 
Do you get excited when you see a new widow on its way out? Or are you excited for something new? Let me know down in the comments. All right, so we've moved into the part of the lane where the offset attack looks really good. Let's throw the widow in the same spot. This should come up short. It is a little bit less ball. So for light in the pocket or leave like a half seven, I think we're in the right part of the lane then. Oh, right on cue. I'm really good at calling those. So in that spot, I'm at least in the pocket, but I'm a little short of it. I'm gonna move my feet two left, move my target one left. Let's pack one and send it back to the shop. That's close. Ooh. Send it back to the shop. All right, back from the lanes, let's talk about this new Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid. Now my first impression, visually, it looks a lot like the original Black Widow Pearl. Pretty sure that's what they're going for, but could be wrong. Ball motion wise, I do think this is a lot sharper than the Black Widow Ghost. This is a good ball for when the front part of the lane started to go away and need the ball to get down the lane further, but not quite as much back end as I would have expected out of this type of ball. Now I did drill the 3D offset attack when it came out and it sort of filled that void, but it was on the stronger side. So it's nice to see we have a Black Widow 2.0 hybrid that sort of bridges the gap between these two balls. Now I haven't always been a fan of the Widow line of balls. Some have worked for me and some not so much. I do see a purpose for this one, especially on higher friction lane surfaces. Because it gets down the lane with such ease and retains a lot of energy and really changes direction. And I feel that HK22 cover is really living up to the hype. Now all the balls that I've seen that cover stock on have done things that aren't typical of the brands of Brunswick. Even going back to the Ebonite days, we didn't have a lot of balls that really retained energy and went sideways. Now we have some options for that, so it's really nice to see. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is going to take a spot in my permanent bag. It is a little bit stronger than a ball that I have there currently in that spot for more transition and burnt up conditions, and that would be a track kinetic black ice. That ball does have its limitations though, especially on longer patterns with more volume. And I think a Black Widow 2.0 hybrid is gonna fill that spot. Final thoughts, I do think this ball does live up to the hype. Anytime you put a Black Widow on a ball, if you put a spider on a ball, it's gonna sell a lot of units. And I think this is no exception to that. But yeah, overall, really pleased with what I saw out there today. Thanks for watching everybody. And make sure you answer my question below. When you see a new Black Widow coming out, do you get excited for it or are you hoping for something else? Special shout out to our friends at Bufo Distribution in Montreal. Uh, don't forget about our promo code on their website. Jungle Barks at checkout saves you 10% off your order. If you're looking for shoes, a bag, maybe a new ball, they got it all. Thanks for watching everyone. Stay tuned for our next video. That's pretty good.